Backyard Brains presents The Robo Roach. You may be asking yourself, when are the scientists going to cure cancer? When are we going to land on Mars? When are we going to be able to drive a cockroach around? Wait, wait, Greg. What? I think there's a new Kickstarter project offering the world's first Bluetooth Robo Roach. What? That's right. Now you can have your very own cyborg cockroach, the Robo Roach. Using your mobile device as a controller, you can navigate an insect around your home. But, but how, how does, does it work? work? Cockroaches are very different than us. They use their antennas to navigate the world using touch and smells. Inside each antenna is a nerve, and these nerves carry electrical messages to the brain. These messages are called spikes, and they're passing information about if it touches the wall, and if it does touch the wall, the cockroach wants to turn in the opposite direction. By lightly stimulating these nerves, we can actually trick the cockroach into thinking it has touched the wall, and the cockroach will turn upon our signal. This project began almost three years ago as a student project we managed in Michigan and then further developed in South America in Chile. And after 11 iterations, we are ready to launch. For the first six iterations, we took the brain out of a remote control toy and we added our own PCB to convert the signals into a language that the neurons could understand. And while our early prototypes worked, they were too heavy. We also had no way to fine tune the controls and we had other issues. One of the main problems was we destroyed a toy every time we made a RoboRoach. Because we needed the remote control out of the toy. But we actually realized we have remote controls with us at all times, our Bluetooth-enabled mobile phones. The RoboRoach works like this. Attach the backpack, then connect to it from your mobile phone. We've installed running lights to indicate that the connection is made. We've added a bookmark tab for easy access to common stimulation settings. You can also adjust the settings manually by clicking the Settings tab. Here you can adjust the duration, the frequency, and the pulse width. You can even randomize the signal, conduct your own experiments, and make new scientific discoveries. Controlling the Robo Roach is easy. Simply slide your finger across the screen, and the roach will move in that direction. The Robo Roach simulation doesn't shock or harm the cockroach, it simply causes the sensory neurons to fire. You can remove the RoboRoach backpack and place the cockroach back in its home colony, where it's free to eat and mate and do whatever the things that cockroaches like to do. So why are we doing this? Why are we creating a remote-controlled cockroach? We want to create neural interfaces that the general public can use. Typically, to understand how these hardware devices and biological interfaces work, you have to go to graduate school in a neural engineering lab. This is the same neural technology that's being used today to treat Parkinson's disease and also deafness through cochlear implants. If we can allow this technology to get into the hands of younger people, we can begin the neural revolution. Our Robo Roaches will be handmade in Ann Arbor, Michigan at a hackerspace. Our Kickstarter will fund bulk discounts on the hardware to make the Robo Roach more affordable. We also need educational materials and a few more development cycles. For example, we need to extend the battery life and we also need a volume control for the neural communication. So be a part of history, pre-order a cyborg, and join the neural revolution today.